Any update on Josh's status? Uh, the the uh, injury stuff, I know Coach is going to mm -hmm. comment on, so okay. we'll kind of stay away from that. Yeah, we talked to Zordish a couple of years ago about playing his alma mater. Sure. And how strange it is it at all? A little weird? Um, no, not really strange. Just ready to go play. You know, happy to play anybody uh, here on Saturday. So, uh, whomever it is, you know, we were in here early um, Sunday and early on Monday morning practicing. So, uh, wh whoever it is, we're just fired up to play. And obviously, uh, you know, we play Rutgers this Saturday and trying to get ready to get a win here. Ready to, you said ready to play. Is that especially true after a game like Wisconsin? Yeah, I, I think um, you know everybody was. You know, shoot, by the time we got off the plane, everybody was ready to get back to work. Um, so I think anytime uh, you know, you're coming off a, a loss, you getting back and, and just like Coach Harbaugh says, you know, practicing and, and playing football is uh, is good for you. It's the best thing, best thing to get rolling on. Coach, obviously, with your background, you know about the high school talent in the state of New Jersey. Yes. Could you could you speak to that talent? And um, I think there's you know phenomenal talent in the state of New Jersey. Uh, I, mean, I coached there for a long time. Uh, my father did. My brother, two of my brothers do. My other brother did as well. Um, I think on this team, you know, we've had some success with a lot of New Jersey uh, high school athletes. So, uh, yeah, that, I think that speaks volumes to it. The success that those guys have gone on. Uh, at a bunch of different colleges and, and, and have had. Um, so, yeah, I think it's about as, as good a football as there is. And then in your time here, you know, how, how has Coach Harbaugh emphasized, you know, acquiring? J just, um, you know, it's it's like anywhere else. It's kind of a backyard place for us. Um, we have gotten a bunch of good players out of there, like I had already said. Um, and obviously I'm from there. Chris Partridge is from there. Um, Chris has done an unbelievable job there bringing in uh, great players for this program. Uh, to this point, so uh, we just want to keep emphasizing, you know, doing our due diligence there and trying to recruit the best talent out of the state of New Jersey. Have you coached against your brother before? I have, yeah. I, I think uh, four times when we were both in high school, I was at uh, I was at Don Bosco Prep and he was at uh, Bergen Catholic. So we had coached together for quite a while, and then um, then he had left, and I had stayed at Don Bosco, and we coached against each other four times. And, Place in uh, the two state championship games. So, does it What's feel different record? now? Feel different now? Um, no, nah, no different. You know, played a lot of, competed against each other pretty much every day and everything growing up. So, um, you know, it's just he's he's on that side and I'm on this side. And both our programs are trying to get a win on Saturday. Um, you know, and that's that's the number one thing on my mind: getting the players ready to play on Saturday so that they can play at the best of their ability. What was your record against them in high school? Four and a. Yeah. But you don't remind him of that? Uh, just about every time we get together. <laughs> but, uh, time for a few more, Coach? Sure. How do, you, how do you assess how your group has played so far in the three um, games? My, my opinion of how yeah, they played? Yeah. Um, I don't think we've played. Uh, as well as we're capable of playing yet, let me say that. Um, and I think we're very, very capable of playing at an elite level. Um, so I, I think we, you know, we're probably just scratching, hopefully, um, scratching the surface of how good we could possibly be. But um, I'm excited, like I said, to get them out there on Saturday to play the best of their ability. You know. What do you think's been missing? Um, I don't know that, I would say this, I think, uh, the other day, just we probably had a couple of eye violations, and um, you know that's something that you come right back to your address, and um, you know the eyes control the function of your body. So, as your eyes are right, your feet will be right, your hands will be right, your finish will be right, um, and that's where every place starts. So, that's something that we're you know, making sure that uh, we're absolutely 100 percent on. Don was out here a few weeks ago talking about Jordan Anthony and how he's been way much before the season. How do you think he's handled? Uh, I think he's handled it well um, because some of those entrances uh, onto the field were, you know, not necessarily slated to happen. They, they happened due to injury, uh, and he stepped in. And I think, in, you know, the Army game, he stepped in and did an admirable job. And uh, the other day, we got a bunch out of him. And, and uh, you know, these are valuable reps for freshman football players. You know, him and Cameron Grown uh, alike. I think they've, you know, handled that. 
about as good as I've seen uh, freshman handle it. So, like I said, any reps are, are valuable. Back to what you were saying about not playing up to what they're capable of. Have you seen a difference between what's happened in practice and what's happened in games thus far? No, I just think that's that's on you know on me. The players are, are given uh, you know, they're going as hard as they can, and, and uh, we just our jobs to get them better. You know, we're the coaches. We teach them. Uh, you can't get frustrated. You just keep rolling. You know, especially after a game like that the other day, you, you get right back to work and uh, help them get better. So then, is there anything the coaching staff changes about its its approach this week? No, I think we always coach like as hard as we can. Uh, like I said, we're all fired up to get back here. I think anytime you know you don't get the result you want in life, personally, this is me. You know, this is the way my parents raised me. Um, I think everybody would probably find a similar uh, outlook on things like that. But if it doesn't go your way, you get right back up and go to work. You, know, you go as hard as you can, and uh, you don't get discouraged. You keep teaching, they keep playing, and uh, you do everything to the best of your ability. Like I said, I'm fired up to practice today. So um, looking forward to practicing here at, at, at meetings at 115. How is Don handled this week after Saturday's result? Say again, I'm sorry. How is, how is Don handled this week after Saturday's result? Um, same way. Came out, coached like a, a maniac. We had a 650 practice on uh, Monday, I believe. And we we're running around. You know, fired up, screaming, coaching. The players have responded the exact same way. There's a lot of pride in this building. Um, we have a lot of pride in this M. You know, and I think that uh, the man, who, you know, that statue is uh, erected for that man outside. And he said that, you know, we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk bad about each other. We're not gonna point fingers. We're gonna encourage each other. And um, that's what this program is about. That's what it's always been about. That's what our head coach is about. You know, that's what our defense coordinator is about. And that's what our kids are about. So we're gonna keep fighting. Um, we're going to do everything to the best of our ability. And uh, I think that's what you do when you have a family. Things don't go right. You love each other. You keep fighting. And uh, you do everything to the best of your ability. When Josh talked yesterday, he kind of talked about the importance of execution with hustling and all that stuff, how it's all tied together. And Mike Dana said the same thing, too. Just what have you seen from them as far as execution these last couple days of practice? Um, really, really diligent, laser focus. Um, in practice, trying to do everything right. You know, we practiced, I felt, pretty well yesterday. We practiced really hard yesterday. Um, and I, I just think to, to speak to what he, he's talking about, I've seen a really um, focused group out there. What, what does Rutgers present when you look at this? I know they're switching quarterbacks again. Yeah, I think uh, their quarterback probably had the best game last week, you know, uh, which I'm sure they're encouraged by, and, and um, you know, have some pretty good receivers. Um, and I think that uh, you know they got a young tight end, and they got two very good running backs, um, and uh, you know number two and number one, they're both good players. Um, so that that's what they present, you know, a challenge uh, to defend those guys. And I think they're uh, they've got some young guys that are playing pretty well. I don't know if you can speak to this. But why is why is that program having such a tough time getting established? I, I wouldn't know that. Like with all due respect, I mean, I'm just trying to make yeah. sure that we get out there and get rolling uh, today at practice, and we have a great Saturday. That's I'm solely focused on that right now.